The wall has become a symbol of injustice and evil and violence in Palestine. So the idea behind this project is that to bring hope and love into what we see here. So we are hoping and praying that love would overcome hate and, and peace would overcome violence and truth would overcome uh, falsehood. And that's kind of the message that we're trying to push for with this project here. Hmm. What is this? As an international, I came here and did this project because I strongly believe that the world needs to know about the occupation, about the wall, about the settlements, and about all the injustices that happen here. And I feel that most North Americans, North American Christian, and that's what I come from, North American Christians just don't know that in Bethlehem there's a wall, and that even the Pope came and prayed on the wall to speak up against it, to say that this is unjust. So I think that story needs to be told with the world. And sometimes street art tells stories. Is So maybe we should leave it at a tiny bit and then do it again. Pull it up, pull it up. Yalla! Oh, some clapping, some noise. <laughs> now when tourists and pilgrims come, they will walk by that wall and they will see the outline and the silhouette of the Pope. And hopefully they will think, is that Pope Francis? And maybe they, they didn't know. A lot of buses come through here. They don't know that there's an occupation. They just come see the Church of the Nativity and leave. So maybe they'll see that and they'll look into it. Why was the Pope here? Why did he pray here? What did he say? And when he spoke at Mass here, I was lucky enough to see him speak, he, he had a famous quote where he said that we should be building bridges instead of walls. And that was his message. And I'm hoping that pilgrims, tourists, everyone around the world feels that message and speaks up for it. <laughs> Thank you.